cocktails growing down by the river. When I visit a Marshalls, I don't mean the store. I'm heading to the local cattail Marsh, a one-stop shopping center for all my culinary, medicinal, and practical needs. Cattails have more uses than a cat has lives. They're one of my favorite plants. There's so much to say about cattails. I could easily make an hour-long video about every single way they help us. Since that's not going to happen, I'm featuring the edible parts I use the most. I've always loved cattails. No, not that kind. They grow in wetlands and often cover a large area. It's easy to find a patch. Just look for the old, fluffy, sausage-like seed heads. Cattails help stabilize erosion, purify water, and act as a filter for pollutants. So it's important to collect from clean areas. The tender inner core of the young stalks is a good energy food that first appears in mid-April. The Russians call it Cossack asparagus, though it tastes more like cucumber or zucchini. Try these in stir fries, sandwiches, salads, or other creative combinations. To collect the core, pull the innermost leaves so that you can see the soft, very pale green bottom part. Discard the upper leaves. And this part is the part that you want to use. It's very tender. You can just pinch it with a fingernail and it's very, very soft. Eat these shoots throughout the spring. Peel or tear them into strips or cut them into oval sections to reveal a lovely design. Cattails might absorb heavy metals or pathogens from the water, so it may be best to cook them as an extra precaution. If you want to eat them raw, mix one tablespoon apple cider vinegar in one cup water and stir. Cover the inner parts with this for about 20 minutes to remove bacteria or other nasties. Strain, rinse, and pat dry. It's important to properly identify young cattail leaves because they might look similar to those of the toxic yellow iris, which grows in the same habitat. I haven't seen these plants where I collect, but that doesn't mean they won't be present where you are. Once the iris produces flowers, there's no problem with confusing the two plants. But earlier on, when the leaves emerge, they could be mixed up. Iris leaves are flat with sharp tips. Cattail leaves look like grass on steroids. They have rounded tips and their bottom area smells like cucumber. Usually new cattail shoots grow next to last year's old seed heads, which is another sign that you've found the right plant. When gathering the inner cores, you may notice a sticky goo at the base of the plants. Don't worry, this slimy substance is like a New England version of aloe vera gel. It can be used as an antiseptic to treat small wounds and burns. There are more products from this plant, some easier to obtain than others. I go for the ones that are simpler to collect. These will be in my next cattail video.